As silly as it seems, there's always sunshine after the rain. Lots of times people, when they're going through challenges, trials, tribulations, or some experience that they don't understand, often what they'll do is they'll focus in and zero in, as it were, with a telescope or a microscope on only one thing, you know, like the rain or some problem they're facing or some issue that they're going through. They don't have that perspective of being able to look at the long-term effect. You know, something that maybe after the rain will come the sunshine. Lots of times all of us face those issues in life where, hey, it don't look so good. As a matter of fact, sometimes we can't see, you know, the tree from the forest or the raindrops from the flood that's right now wiping out our house or we can't see any benefit to what we're experiencing today. That's perspective. Of course we can't see it. That's part of why we have faith that God has given us. God has given to every man a measure of faith and we're told what we do with that faith will either be increased or decreased and eventually taken away from us. So there's a certain truth to faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God and why you need to hear the Word of God, why you should study the Bible, why you should find yourself in some way building up your faith so that when those challenges come and you can't see the long-term results of what's going on in your life today, then you'll have the faith to walk through it irregardless. You see, faith is kind of like when you're in a rainstorm having an umbrella. Now, I'll admit, if the wind's blowing, an umbrella doesn't do much good. But each individual piece that you use in your life has a purpose and a design. So when it's a rain that's just coming straight down, an umbrella comes in really handy. As a matter of fact, it's like a covert in a shelter of a storm, some place where you can run to and find refuge. And that's part of why God has given us His Word. Because He wants us to understand He's given us tools and abilities to go through those trials and tribulations that we're going through. As a matter of fact, He wants us to recognize that we can even look at the rain and rejoice in it. We could be singing in the rain. We could be dancing in our tribulations. We could be enjoying, as it were, and celebrating the fact that we're in the last generation. Oh, there's a fiscal, there's a fiscal cliff coming. Cool! That's exciting. Isn't it wonderful? I wonder how God's going to deal with it or what He's going to do. Let's watch and see how the Lord may bring it about and accomplish His purpose in it. What does God have to say about it today? And that's the difference between perspective of having something your way and having something His way. It all depends on where you're looking at it from whose perspective. I personally choose every day to change my perspective. It's kind of like taking these glasses and putting them on. You know, I can't see so well when I don't have my glasses on. You know, oh, I can see things and I can make out kind of like, you know, the images of what they are. Everything is still there. I can see it pretty clear. You know, I mean, I can read some things if they're big enough and obvious enough. But, you know, when it comes to really small stuff like, you know, the word right here in front of me, you know, I can't read it until I put on my glasses. Then everything becomes a little clearer, a little sharper. I can understand it better. Oh, yeah, okay, I can see things a little more clearly. I can see things I might not have noticed before because I put on my glasses. And that's what perspective does for you. Sometimes with your faith and experience that you've gone through in life with the knowledge of God, and the wisdom that's been applied through your life experiences of knowing God, then you wind up coming to a place where you can exercise your faith and know that after the rain comes the sunshine. After you go through these challenges that you're facing, the fiscal cliff, the health issues, the faith that you suddenly lost somewhere along the way and you can't find it. Where did my faith go? Oh no, I'm losing it. I'm terrified of what's going to happen. When you finally come to those conclusions, then you'll realize that really is all about perspective. God knows that. God said and promised us in His Word that He would take us the rest of the way. 
You see, up to a point, you have the opportunity to make your life easy or take it the long way, you know, the hard way round. Well, at some point in time, God's going to say to you, look, you will reap what you sow, but I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Even when you go through the flood, even when you're in the fire, when you can't see the trees from the forest and when it's raining, I will be with you because I will be your sunshine. So in the midst of your storm, you'll find and discover that God is with you. You'll realize from his perspective, it's all in his hands. You don't have to fear tomorrow. As a matter of fact, one of the things that's nice about having a godly perspective is being able to look down the road and seeing your perfection. Seeing that, hey, I'm going to look pretty shiny one day. Oh, I may not look so confident today, but you know what? Tomorrow, though it don't look like it today, hey, the sunshine's coming. And eventually, the sun will rise with healing in his wings, and he shall bring that sunshine of his presence, the confidence that we need to have in these latter days as we see those things that are coming upon us, and we can rejoice and be glad if, and only if, we have a proper or a realized understanding of looking at it from his perspective, from God's point of view, and not our own.